Hello and welcome back. I boosted the game audio a little. Um, well, one notch. But anyway, we move on with this little preamble. A savage land few dare to enter. There is no telling what danger awaits. Be careful, symbiotes. Okay. So I think this is a boss uh, type scenario, a battle thing. So if we kill this one, the battle ends, I think. I'm not sure, but I think that's the case. There are also barrels, bats, um, oh, and a few new enemies. Scammers, they have fairly high attack. Uh, their defense isn't spectacular though. Worms have a little higher attack, but same defense really. Very low movement. High-ish hit points. Uh, these aren't very scary either. Okay, we got this. I think we can find a mithril at uh, some uh, some place here. Uh, the game will give us a give us an inspection um, icon if we, we can. Uh, um, let's just... Oh! Treasure chest! We are going for that one. I'm not sure what's in it. Uh -huh. Can't get up there right now. But we have to get that treasure chest during this fight. And the only way to get up there is... Here, which is dangerously close to tripping this guy's AI. Yeah, I'll have to be careful. And... There's a respawn going on here, isn't there? Yeah, I think there is. Um, we'll see how we end up managing this. Hayward now has a crossbow. Right, kind of seems like a reference back to uh, Gord in uh, Shining Force 1. That might be uh, wishful thinking. Gord was pretty cool. Just this crazy old man and just... He, uh, he just joined you and... Uh, hit stuff with an axe. Because... Why not? Okay. Let's wreck some face. Oh, yes. Thank you, Symbios. Uh -huh. I'm thinking we should maybe smack that sniper than GTFO. Grace won't be at her best up there.
And level 3. <laughs> and another 3 MP. Oh, she has good uh, MP growth. She has. Ick. Okay, Simulus can do the honors here. Then I guess the towers get the sniper. And Maskarin. Uh, can please run away. Uh, oh, well. Okay, I'll Hayward here. Probably draw the scaven, but he can take it. Oh, okay. Albright can smack the scaven. Right on the nose. With the broadside of the axe. As you do. I need to be careful with worms in uh, this game. They can poison you, and uh, that's not catastrophic, but you don't want that if you can avoid it. I don't think she would survive another hit by anyone. So close, yet so far away. <clears throat> oh, now Obrek gets killed. Oh, sure. Oh, I'll accept that. Slightly not a good situation up there. But we are still in there. Right, I'll do this. Then start using my medical herbs. Seventeen damage, though. Wow. They must have absolutely abysmal resistance to fire. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bad. Ha 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 ha. Um. Uh. Yeah. Um. Medical hurts and stuff. Um. Yeah. Yes. That was too close. That was much too close. Would have been good if you had critted him though. Okay, worm appeared, but they are slow and uh, will not be a factor in this fight. Well, that one won't be. Hmm. 
Uh, right here. For no real reason. Uh, I just have to check though. She has seven defense. And with 14 attack, that means she takes seven points of damage. Stands there, she can be attacked by the archer, and we don't want that, so I'll just try this. Try this off for a second, you know? Oh, ho 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 Grace, you are something. I want to save our MP for later in the fight, of course. Could have countered Symbios. Oh well. Guess you didn't. Guess you didn't. Just didn't want to. Ow. Oh yeah. And level four. Yes, we are doing good. Now let's uh, run. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do this. Maybe have Obright go and smack that uh, sniper. You no know, fun of it. Right after we deal with the worm. Take at least one more hit, I know, but Celestia. uh just playing it safe. We are leaving. here in this fight. No, not really. Okay. I think I was mistaken there for a while. Yeah, we, we may find uh, stuff uh, hidden in the ground stuff and such in some battles, but um, this appears to not be be one of those fights. <sighs> yeah, that worm sure is triggered. Uh, triggered by seeing Masker's backside, maybe? <clears throat> uh, let's keep running. Okay, let's see how you do against Obright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Trigger that other bat, did I? Uh, 
Yeah, no, just have to make sure. So this should be a kill. Not level up, but a kill. You are welcome, good on hit points. You can just stand there for a bit. Look grateful. Haha, -ha. I'm just so funny. Hello! Yeah, we're going down so far. Sounds legit. That bat sure wasn't triggered. I think I'm taking a slight risk here. I don't know how much this bat will do to all bite. But chances are it will not be very much. So now to see what the wind will do. Three damage. That is not very much. I shall heal Obright all the same. Um, you know, I did kind of say that uh, I had university and stuff going on, but I am in a pretty cushy period right now, and uh, you know, I just figured I'd, uh, yeah, use it for something good. No priorities. <laughs> there are thing. Okay, Hayward, who can you kill? You can kill the bat before it gets a move in. Good level up right there. Let's see, should I use? No, I should not use him to fetch the uh, item. And you guys are all good on hit points, right? I'll just send Grace. That yeah. She has an, an open slot in her inventory. I'll just stay back a little so I don't trigger the boss prematurely. Right should give it a fence boost, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the uh, defense boost levels are precisely the same as for uh, attack boost, so uh, that would mean he gets. Uh, he, well, that he would now gets uh, five points bonus to uh, his defense stat when he stands next to Albright. Pretty good. We can work with that. Bracer, just adjusting the name here. Oh, worm appears. Let's not hang around. Yeah, these aren't really pro strats. I know.
Oh, I need to stay still. That is fine by me. Okay. Will I get attacked by the bat now? Really nice. Get some excitement uh, in this fight, you know? Let's keep the tars around to provide some kind of cover for uh, Masquer- Oh, uh, Grace. Just adjust these names here in the uh, walkthrough. There, all taken care of. Okay, Grace. Get a move on. Level 2. Okay. And another 3 MP. Wow. She is getting potent. And that's Gavin is just hanging out over there. Yeah, look at that. 16 MP. That is good. I think Blaze Level 2 costs uh, 5 MP to cast. Yeah. And power 12. That means it'll do at least two points of damage more than uh, Blaze Level 1. This is good. This is very good. Just see. Can I... I am close enough to examine that, but nothing happens. I'll just wait here until we can regroup, boys. Okay, the tower is still hanging out there. A word is on the way. Bright can stand here. It's always back to the boss, like the badass that he is. <coughs> oh, uh oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about that, though. We can fix that. Um, there. So that is one reason why the worms are a bit dangerous. They can poison you and paralyze you and just... Bleh. Yeah, they're unpleasant. Um, that Gavin hasn't had his turn yet. Well, speak of the devil. Okay, time to smack that scaven. So, we did get that uh, Protect Embracer. If we equip that on Obright, uh, he, he wouldn't take damage from <laughs> well, anything for quite a while. Only magic, but that's just... <laughs> that's just how he is. Oh, will this be a kill? I think it will. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do this so early. Top oh, 11 damage with the attack boost from Synbios. Kaboom, baby. Oh! So this is a route map. Oh, no, wait. Map move. Okay. So we get to the end and just leave. Uh, let's just hang around here first. Give the others another chance to regroup.
This is looking a bit tricky. I think uh, going and using the map move as escape uh, functionality or something like that will uh, end the map, um, no matter who does it. But just in case, I really don't want to leave anyone behind. <laughs> no? Perhaps it would be wise to heal up Masquerin. I have the herb to spare. Oh, and if anyone's wondering about the bright honey I picked up in the previous uh, uh, episode, it uh, increases your max MP. Which is good for a caster like a Masquerin. Not sure if. I will bench on a lot though. Anyway, it's really too early to use it. Anyway, so let's just move on. Hmm. So we actually get two experience points for healing. That was unexpected. Let's see, smack the worm, smack the worm. Symbiotes. Why don't we do that? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, pro strats, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, that happened. Oh, now Masker will get an attack boost from Symbiotes. This attack might actually do something then. Or the enemy could block, of course. Yeah, that blocking game, I can do that too. So I'll just smash this scab and then we can leave. Symbios, that's good. Now we leave. And you can heal Obright. me if you can, Wormy. Okay, will it only complete the map move if uh, Symbios does it? Okay, I guess that's how it works. Symbios has to do the map move. Got it. We seem to have passed through the valley. Indeed. General Cruward's soldiers must be quite irritated by now. Still, this is Imperial territory, and we're such a small force. The time we gained is very precious. 
They say treasure is hidden in Dwarfield just ahead. Beyond that is the, is the town of Railhead. Hurry, General Prodon awaits. Chief is as clever as ever. I was worried a peace treaty would be bad for business, but luckily things changed and war broke out. Who could have predicted this? But the chief knew what was going to happen. He must have contacts everywhere. Hmm. Who would that? Be in, well, who will he be in contact with then? With the security forces busy with the Republican armies, we are free to steal like there is no tomorrow. Still, even though we are part of the Shiraf clan, we're stuck on this stupid watch. I wish we could join a more active unit. Bandits are on guard just ahead, but we can't afford to waste much time on them. I agree. Sheraf, the bandit chief, knows about the conference debacle. There's something suspicious here. I've raised my suspicions before, good sir. King Benetron, we are losing precious time sitting here. Once we meet with General Holland, I must think all this through again. Let's move out. Split from right down the middle. Brutality. Okay. I think I will end the episode. Just see what opportunity we have to do that. Uh, there's one thing I would like to. Aha! Yes! Here's the thing. Um, well, here's a ruin. If, um, if we go near it with the map in our inventory. Uh, the person with the map in their inventory can unlock these ruins. When that happens, a thief will come along and uh, jump into the ruins. Then uh, we will have to well, follow him, pretty much, and uh, try to recover the treasure as best we can. Either by uh, getting to the treasure chest before the thief, or uh, hitting him with something before. Uh, well, hitting him with something when he has picked up things so that he will drop them. Uh, we'll see that in the next episode. Um, note that uh, the ruins are only available the first time, I think. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happens if you do not uh, get them at all before uh, uh, retreating. But if you open the ruins and retreat, I mean, retreat before you even enter the ruins and, uh, and come back, you will not get in the ruins at all. So you have one shot with the ruins. And that will be in the next episode. See you then.